Afternoon, Mandy. Day uh -huh. two of examinations. Yes, I made a sticker for my wall. Okay. okay. So let's start with English literature. Okay. First question. Tell your favorite Shakespeare story this term. Like the whole story? You tell the story. Whole story? Of course. The whole story that you remember? Okay. So this your favorite Shakespeare story um, that you remember. So I I I like Winter's Tale. Um I like Winter's Tale. So um this is the story. Once there were two friends called Leonidas and Polyps. Uh, oops. Leontes, I'm sorry. I always get mixed up with Leonidas and Leontes. Does it sound so the same? <laughs> so same. So, um. Big world. So. <laughs> Le Leontes, King Leontes, and um, King Polysenius. They were once. They were two kings. So Polysenius was in a uh, was the king of Bohemia. I don't know where Bohemia is. Um, but yeah, and the uh, Leontes, I don't think it was mentioned yet. Yeah. Oh wait, was it? I don't remember. Okay. But yeah, let's go to the story part. All right. These two, uh, no, these two kings were uh, like kind of separated when they went to their own lands, you know, to their own kingdoms, but they were still friends, and Polysenius would visit Leontes. So, um, when Polysenius, I know, visited Leon, Leontes, Leontes would often, often think frequently, you know, like all the time, you know, or something, or, or, yeah, that, I know, <coughs> Leontes' wife, his wife, Hermione, would, would like, I know, would like, would like, would like Polysenius, would like Polysenius better, you know, than his, well, her own husband. So, um, well, he jailed her. And, I know. And the, the prince, the son of Leontes, was in grief of his mother, of Anna, in the in the jail that um, he died. And um, the, an oracle, the oracle, it said Hermione was uh, Hermione was innocent. King Leontes was not really a good king, you know, like a bad king. Polysenius is an uh, Innocent also, but um, uh, I don't really remember what the oracle said. But when uh, no, King Leontes heard it, he 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 was oh he opened his eyes. You know, his eyes were opened like he was unblinded. And and well, uh, no, and <coughs> he was grieving for his lost lost. Wife. Oh yeah. And <laughs> so, I know. Hermione had actually, I know, gave, gave gave birth in the cell, you know, her jail, and she had a baby daughter called Perdita. Perdita. <laughs> and Paulina brought it to the king, and thinking that it might be thinking, thinking maybe. And it would please the king, but the plea, but um, all this before his eyes were open, right? So, and the king, <laughs> he didn't want it, so he ordered Polina's husband to sail it from a far, far away land. And Polina's husband actually sent it to Bohemia. And, well, Polina's husband, he died, because a bear, A bear killed him. A bear like yeah, ate him. But no, maybe a bear just um killed him. You know? Cause the bears have sharp claws. But yeah, let's get to the point. So, I know a, sh a shepherd.
shepherd. Oh wait, is it a shepherd? Oh yes, a shepherd found Perdita, and well, um, and yeah, and he like he kind of just took care of took care of her with his wife, like she was just a um, their own child because they didn't really have any children but it wasn't really mentioned but yeah so <clears throat> it's just what I mean. right so and uh, so prince Florizel and his father holy cities i know was was and uh, in bohemia diba so and uh, so when Prince Florizel was just exploring, you know, and he found the shepherd's house, and he saw Perdita. He was in love with her, so he would send her like secret ad admirer letters, and they would, and he would go there daily, so that he could see the beautiful Perdita. While King Polixenes. He was a bit concerned that his son was always going out every day. So he got his guards to see what Florizel was actually doing. And they did see Florizel. And then King Polisinius was like, what? Then he went to the shepherd's house and he got Prince Florizel, you know? But yeah, well it's not really like that, I don't know. So, and then, uh, no, King Polisinis went to Prince Florizel as fast as he could. And then, uh, no, it, was, it was said that Prince Florizel and Perdita is gonna, is gonna get married, you know? He's gonna get wed. But, uh, no, Polisinis did not like this. Because so she was, he thought, because she, he thought that she was just some random girl. But, I uh, know. But, oh yeah, and at the first time, Leontes brought his, brought his servant Camilo to try and poison Polisinis, but they, but he didn't, and went to Polisinis to Bohemia. <laughs> right, so, and, um, well, he told, well, Camilo told Polisinis the plan, and then they went to Bohemia. And then, um, <clears throat> so Camilo... He, 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 but, and, so King Polisinius brought Camilo with him to go with Prince Florizel, and Camilo kind of liked, I uh, know, the princess, he liked Princess Perdita, you know, as, as friend, you know, he wanted her to be his friend. I would like to be Camilo's friend, <laughs> to be honest. But, um, yeah, so, but, if he's not, he's not real, so. <laughs> but uh, okay. <coughs> Oops. Uh, okay, that was nothing. <laughs> so, uh, so Camilo said to go to King Leontes so that they can be in his power, you know, in his safety. And they did go to him. And Polisinius was angry, and I uh, know Polina. Actually, was making a statue with this carver, a carver, carver. You know, I I forgot his name. I think he was Italian. I don't really know, but yeah, uh, I forgot his name. It's a bit hard to remember. Okay. And well, uh, so Paulina, she made a statue of Queen Hermione. Le Leo just loved it. He did not like it. Leotas did not like it. He loved it. And then, uh, but Leontes said he didn't have that much wrinkles. But, uh, but Paulina said that is the carver's, that is the carver's work. He would do how she would look, she would carve on how she would look right now. And now, I shall bring her away from you. And then Leon was like, wait, no! I would like to see it. I would like to have, I would like
would like to see it. Yeah, I would just like to see it. I'm very pleased with it. And then probably nice like uh it has to go. And then I'm not. And then Leon Tess is like, no, I'll just stare. I'll just stare at it. And then Polina is like, okay, you know what? Just, I can make it move. Then Leon Tess is like, I don't care. Just, I want to look at it. <laughs> then um, Polina is like, you know, snap. And then, uh, and then Hermione was moving. The carver, the carver, Hermione was moving. And she went to Neon and kissed him. It was actually the real. It was the real. It was actually. It was the real Hermione. She had, you uh, know, pretend to, to be dead. You know? And, you uh, know. And once. When Leontel and Hermione found out that Perdita was her daughter, because um, she was in the shepherd's hand, the bar, and, uh, they were very happy and they were a happy family, but they did not have their son. But yeah, and uh, no, when Polycine is <laughs> discovered that uh, no, Leontes is the father of Perdita, he fight. He agreed to do the marriage of Floricelle and Perdita. And they all lived happily ever after. The end! Number okay. two. Tell the story of Icarus and Daedalus. No, it's so sad. So once there was an Athenian called Daedalus. Daedalus was sent out of Athens. But yeah, well, he was called by King... Minus. I think his name is Minus. Oh, I have a joke here. So, um, why, why was King Minus outnumbered, you know? Outsmarted, you know? Why? Outnumbered. But outnumbered is what meaning outsmarted, you know? Uh, outnumbered. Why? Because he is King Minus. <laughs> Love that joke. <laughs> Okay. okay, that's my own joke. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, it was once an Athenian called Daedalus who was called by King Minos to make a trap for this parang ano, parang yung kabayo the kabayo that has a man's body but a horse's head it, but the thing was the horse head was not uh, it was not a horse, it was a bull. Red bull, yay! No. So, um, it was a bull, you know, a bull with a man's body. Do you remember what it's called? Not really. A minotaur? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Oh, why, why was, ano, why was Daedalus called? Ano ba siya? A truck. Oh, kasi he is, ano, a designer, like, he is a like he's a carver, you know, like a designer, you know, but, um, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, to make a trap for the Minotaur, and, I uh, know, see, Daedalus, he did make a trap, it was called the Labyrinth, it was where the Minotaur could not, um, could not, could not solve the 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 path, cause I know there's not even I know a pathway out. Isn't there? Maybe there is a pathway out. Maybe it's just a bit hard to do that. But maybe for the Minotaur, maybe there's no pathway out. Okay. <laughs> um. And that's just assuming with me. So it's like um a labyrinth. It's like. Just zigzag, zigzag, you know. Okay. You can solve which way out and which way not out, you know. And uh, so and so um, so and <clears throat> even though um, Daedalus 
made a good good trap and uh, well he fell out of king minus's minus's uh, favor and he was locked up in the dungeon no he was locked up in the tallest tower ever in the country oh yeah creek or crease Creek, I think it's Creek. I think it's Creek. <laughs> what is it again? Creek or Crease? Um, let's just check this. Creepy. <laughs> so it's Creek. Yeah, it's Creek, I think. Yeah, it's Creek. Creek with a T. Ah, Crete. Mm. Oh yeah, Crete. Yeah. was locked up in the tallest tower in uh, no, the country with his son Icarus and for many days Daedalus uh, was trying to find a way on how to get out of uh, no, get out of the tower by art you know? and when he saw the seagulls flying you know the birds so, um, he would, um, he, they, he and Icarus would collect the feathers of the, the birds that, that, that comes from their wings but would fall, you know, and, um, he would also, and, and then he, like, wax them together until they look like a good pair of wings, and he then, he tried it out, and he could make himself fly, and then he made some to Icarus. And then, I know, he said to Icarus before they flew, Do not go near, do not go very topmost in the sky, or else the sun will burn your wings. And don't go very down, or else the fog will like bother you. You know, the wind, it will like distract you, you know, bother you, and maybe make you not see where you're going. So always go into the moderate sky. You know, the middle, middle, um, like here. Alright. <laughs> I just showed you. So, um, and then, well, <clears throat> for Icarus, this went into one ear, into the other. <laughs> Smelling my finger. Okay. Um. Ooh. I'm right at it. Okay. I'm just looking at the Philippines. Um. Let's go faster. So um. Well. And then <coughs> when Icarus was wanted to be very adventurous, he then went up, 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 baby, up to high up in the sky and then he was near to the sun he was near to the sun and then i know the sun melted his wings because they were made out of wax they were glued by wax and then he fell into the water and then daedalus not seeing his son behind him was i know was, was confused because the sun would always be following him. Yeah, diba? But, ano, when he looked at the water and he saw the, ano, bird feathers, you know, the, the bird feathers of the wings, he knew that, he knew that it could have died and drowned into the water. Why couldn't Icarus swim? Was he not, was he not taught? Maybe he was a child. Maybe. Uh, all right. I not even. I can swim. <laughs> so, and then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this is itchy. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then. And then he flew to the uh, to an uh, away from Crete. 
and he built a temple and set up his wings there to an offering for the gods and oh yeah and he's and he swear that his um his invention ah yeah he was also an inventor at ano, when, while he was flying Got mad at his, you know, design, designful art hand. And when he hang up the wings, he 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 said never to, never to, you know, what is that called? Uh, never to. Um, Can you describe the happy prince? Oh, the happy prince. He is a bit stubborn. <laughs> Cause he always wants the sparrow. I, I, sparrow. I mean, it was a sparrow. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> swallow. Are you the describing first to... physically? Oh, How physically. does he look like? He looks like golden. He's okay. golden. Okay. And he's always happy, but inside he's already always sad. Why? Because you know, now he sees his ugly city. Oh. Before he was just you know, in the walls of his castle, now he sees his ugly city. Because okay. they hanged him up there. Okay. Poor prince. Um, okay. oh, how else will you describe him? Are there more? Maybe he's a bit stubborn because he always wants the swallow to stay with him. And maybe he's kind. Because he gives he gave all his go okay, um spoiler alert if you're not yet reading this book, um because <laughs> he gave all his gold, all his all his sapphire eyes and his ruby e and his ruby too. Yeah. And it was kind of an uh, uh, no. it was kind of a sad story but at the end it was very happy okay and what did you learn from that story or from the from the happy prince well i thought that there was like a moral of it there wasn't really a moral but i i i personally think that the moral was to to give you know to be generous because he was giving so much to other people like the poor, you know, yeah. Done? Yeah. Oh, how did Athens earn its name? Oh, because of Athena. From Athena. Athena? I, oops, Athena. Athena, okay. Why? What was ano, Athena's gift? An olive tree. And what does it symbolize? Peace. Are you sure it's peace? Um, it symbolizes no war. It symbolizes peace, na. But Poseidon's gift was a an, a fighting horse, a fighting white horse, and ano, it represented war. Do you agree with the Greek gods when they proclaimed Athena the winner? Yes. Why? Because I know I I personally think again that peace is better than war. I think Athena's gift, uh, this, the olive tree symbolizes wisdom and freedom, diba? I, 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 I don't think that it's... Wait, it's freedom, it's freedom. yeah, it's freedom, it's freedom. Okay, okay. I, I just think that freedom is better than war. Okay. Uh, why are there different seasons according to a Greek myth? Kasi... <laughs> In ano, the seven month seasons, you know the seven months, you know, like the autumn, the winter, but we don't have that here. <laughs> you know, the autumn and the winter, you know, like that, well, it's, 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 it's because, mm. ano, the goddess of, the goddess of,
our vest. She is sad because her daughter Persephone is not with her. Persephone, sorry, sorry. Because, I uh, know, Persephone is the queen of the underworld now. And she's with Hades. But in the five months, like spring and summer, she's happy because Perse Persephone is with her. Yay! Oh, Demeter, yes. Demeter is the mother of heart. Why is Persephone with uh, no, Hades for seven months? Because she, she is now the queen of the underworld. Because when she was in the underworld, when uh, no, like, Hades kidnapped her, <laughs> she ate seven seeds of a uh, pomegranate. Migranate. Uh, pomegranate. Yeah. Pomegranate. Huh? Well, uh, no. she ate seven, and now Hades. Well, Zeus says that the seven, how much seed, seeds she ate, she has to stay with Hades. 